Hello, everyone, and welcome to this edition of our newsletter. I'm your host, Suresh Ram. All around the world, medical technology solutions are becoming more and more portable, consuming less power, and delivering higher performance. That's especially exciting in the medical imaging world in the area of ultrasound. Traditionally, in order to get truly effective ultrasound images, doctors needed to use large console-based ultrasound systems. And for system designers who are developing these high-end ultrasound devices, the complex signal processing has always required many board-level components, requiring a lot of space and high level of power consumption. But now, advances in portable ultrasound technology are bringing high-quality imaging to doctors in small communities and locations far from large hospitals and medical centers. And National Semiconductor is providing some of the critical, groundbreaking innovation that is enabling these advances. National Semiconductor is releasing the industry's first eight-channel ultrasound transmit-receive chipset, specifically designed for portable ultrasound systems used in hospitals, clinics, ambulances, and remote point-of-care facilities. The complete chipset includes a receive analog front end, a transmit-receive switch, a transmit pulser, and a configurable transmit beam former, all of which combine to deliver imaging quality in portable systems that you only previously achieved in larger hospital-based machines. This high level of integration allows system designers to build lightweight, increased channel count, portable ultrasound systems with enhanced image quality and diagnostics in a small footprint. Let me show you how this can help you in your design process. Here is a visit to one of our labs and my colleague Scott. For our demonstration, we have a three board set consisting of the reference board for the 96511. The wide area you see here is the area you need for an eight channel implementation for an ultrasound system. The board to the right is a capture card and the board to the left is a test signal generator board to generate signals to simulate uh, echo returns from a transducer. The generator board generates two different types of signals. One is a CW Doppler signal. The second is a B mode signal. Going through a switch, we then drive a transformer, which then can drive all eight channels of the LM96511. On the display to the right, you see an actual capture of the demonstration platform that we're running right now. At this point, the TGC is not running. We're not compensating for any gain uh, or any attenuation in the body. So Cliff is going to zoom in on the first one of these. and We're going to do a gated capture similar to an oscilloscope where we just capture the same area over and over again. Cliff is going to increase the gain ramp of the DVGA until we compensate for that attenuation loss in the human body. Once we're perfectly compensated, you'll see a, a rectangular waveform where as the decay of the signal goes down, we've increased the gain to match perfectly. You'll notice it's very flat and very smooth and very noise free. We can cycle through all eight channels to show the gain to gain matching is very accurate. This is very important when you build multi-channel systems and you want all the channels to match very accurately. So now we're gonna move from the time domain to the frequency domain and do an FFT of this signal. We're doing a 4K sample, and you see the main response here, as well as a very flat, spur-free noise floor. If we zoom in on the carrier, we see that that extends very close in to the carrier. In fact, we're limited strictly by the number of samples that we take in this setup, which is 4,000 samples. Now on the source board, we're going to switch from the B-mode simulating signal to the CW Doppler signal and feed that in through the B mode path. We've turned off the TGC and we parked the DVG again to a fixed setting and we're feeding the signal in. And here you see the main carrier signal as well as the offset signal, which is a single sideband response to show blood flow in a certain direction. Now we're gonna take this signal and feed it into our CW Doppler portion of the LM96511. The output of the 96511 is fed into an I to V converter, which then goes into a stereo ADC. You see now the result of that ADC. This is our offset tone. The carrier is at DC, which you don't see. There's a high pass filter that removes that. Again, you see a very 
flat, noise-free floor. Uh, characterization has shown noise levels down to 160 dBC levels. If we zoom in close to the DC area, you see that we're very free of any kind of 1 over F noise close in to DC. Again, this is very important for very low blood flow operation. So there you just saw some of the features of the LM96511 analog front end. And this is the PowerWise ultrasound transmit eval board, which allows you to evaluate the performance of the pulsar, transmit receive switch, and the transmit beam former. The transmit receive switch and the integrated clamping diodes has a programmable bias current that allows for the use of the switch either in the high performance mode or the power saving mode. The transmit receive switch can also be used as a MUX and features a DC chain SPI control, thereby requiring minimal FPGA resources and significantly reducing the number of traces on the system board. The pulsar uses a clamp to reduce ringing and provides symmetrical pulses through tight rise and fall delay matching. The programmable transmit beamformer can be used to program various pulse pattern profiles with fine delay resolution. It not only reduces the FPGA load and I.O. pins, but also provides an order of magnitude improvement in jitter performance. In addition to this complete analog front-end architecture, National offers designers full signal path solutions for developing portable ultrasound systems, including clocking devices and power management ICs. To get more information on these offerings, including easy-to-use evaluation kits, reference schematics, and other design tools, you can click on the links within the newsletter or visit us at national.com slash ultrasound. That's all for this edition of our video newsletter. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again next time.